Okay. African admixture in Spaniards. I'm using G25 for this video. First, common misconceptions about Spanish people. Number one, the reason most Spanish people have brown hair and eyes is because they are partly, or even mostly, of North African Berber descent and that without that North African admixture, they would be blonde and blue-eyed like the Brits. Number two, Spanish people have a lot of North African or even Sub-Saharan African admixture. Number three, North Africans are entirely brown people without any European traits. Disproving misconception number one. Spaniards were never light people. In pre-Islamic Spain, 49 out of 50 genomes did not have a single derived allele in IRF4. It is a gene that lightens eye color among other traits such as hair color and skin color, compared to over half of modern Brits. Clearly, Spaniards were never blonde and blue-eyed like the Brits. The environment and the culture did not facilitate the advancement of this trait. 42 out of 42 pre-Islamic Spanish genomes, so pretty much all of them, had not a single derived allele in the Kito G variation implicated in blonde hair, compared to the 30 or so percent of modern Brits. And only 6 out of 39 pre-Islamic Spanish genomes had one or more derived alleles in HERC2 variation implicated in light eye color, compared to the, 50, to the 85 percent or so of modern Brits. Disproving misconception number three. G25 analysis of, I should have, this should have been number two, uh, my fault. Uh, G25 analysis of multiple Spanish groups clearly shows the lack of sub-Saharan ancestry in Spaniards. Uh, in fact, in all of the Spanish groups analyzed, including the Andalusians, there is more Germanic blood than Moroccan or Berber. Uh, but of course, the dominant component in every Spaniard is the Iron Age Spanish component. For the most part, Spaniards today are similar to Iron Age Spaniards. So this should have been disproving misconception number two. I just made a mistype. And now we go to disproving misconception number three. This is about the Berbers, uh, the Berbers being black. Uh, ancestral Guanche Berber genetics show that Berbers always carried some of the SNPs that caused light features. For example, Two out of 13 Berber genomes carried at least one derived allele in TIRP1, responsible for mostly hair, but also eye and skin coloring. Five out of 16 Berber genomes carried at least one derived allele in TIR, responsible for eye, but also hair and skin coloring. F two out of four Berber genomes carried at least one derived allele in SLC45A2, responsible for hair, eye and skin coloring. One out of seven Berber genomes carried at least one derived allele in OCA2, responsible for mostly eye but also hair and skin coloring, and four of 18 Berber genomes carried at least one allele in one derived allele in Keto G, responsible for skin but also other traits. Clearly, Berbers were not such dark people and definitely were not black. Modern Amazigh people, undeniably morphologically more similar to Europeans, even to my ethnicity than to any sub-Saharan Africans. Uh, here I show the G25 distance from Tunisians to some other groups, and you can see that the G25 shows Tunisians are clearly closer to Europeans, represented by Russians instead of Spaniards, to make the point even stronger, than they are to even Northeast Africans, who are actually not black but mixed, and roughly half Caucasoid. The Tunisians are even closer to the Han Chinese population in autosomal DNA compared to actual sub-Saharan blacks, Igbo. Clearly not black people and not even very dark people by world standards.